What we produce at Plymouth is a well-rounded graduate. Um, our engineers, our graduates go off into all sorts of industrial sectors, aerospace, automotive, energy, and so we don't believe in too much specialisation early on. We have a number of degree programmes, mechanical engineering is one of them, and we have, as far as I know, the only degree programme in Europe uh, which specifically looks at composite materials. We have accreditation by several professional institutions. Year one is putting the basics in place. All students will spend some time getting hands-on with the basic engineering operations. And specialisation will start in the second year. The final year project is probably the most important part of the undergraduate programme. This is the point at which students can really take control of their own learning and it's going to be the product that they'll put on the desk when they go for a job interview. My name is Craig Pemberton. I'm a final year mechanical engineering student at Plymouth University. Choosing Plymouth was quite easy for me. Going to the open days and preview days, I always felt a really good vibe. There's tons of facilities to use while you're studying here. We have optical and laser microscopy, we have CT scanning equipment, new engine test facilities and various thermodynamic rigs. We use rapid prototyping and we have a specialist composites laboratory so students will get hands-on experience of design and manufacture. We can do experiments in wind tunnels, we can validate those with numerical models and we use state-of-the-art software for simulating industrial problems. We have a placement which is available between the second and third years. You're still a part of the university, still a student. You will go out into the field of engineering, in, into the engineering sector. I have got a job for BMW Mini. Do my placement I've got a lot of industry experience um, which companies are looking for. And it's really beneficial meeting new contacts and developing as a, not only as an engineer but as a person as well. There are an awful lot of benefits from the placement year. The student will go out and find out what engineering really is. In some cases students can come back with sponsorship. They may come back with a job offer at the end of their degree programme. One of the best things about the university is definitely the lecturers, how approachable they are, how knowledgeable they are as well. All my academic colleagues have some contact with industry. They're working on collaborative R&D programmes, they're involved in consultancy. They cover a wide range of disciplines, so we have materials experts, we have people who specialise in design, in modelling, in a whole host of experimental work as well. Most of the lecturers have an open door policy, so you can go to them, speak about problems of the course, or talk about your personal development, your future career prospects where you want to go, how you want to get there. We put a lot of attention into uh, employability. Obviously a graduate engineer needs a lot of specialist technical skills, they need to know about design and materials and mathematics, but they also need to be good communicators, they need to be able to work in groups, uh, they need to work to deadlines, and we put a lot of effort into honing those skills very early on. I definitely recommend coming to Plymouth University. It's a great place to study and develop as a person. We're very student-centred at Plymouth. A lot of our effort is devoted to developing individual students for the world of work. And employers say that they like our graduates. They like their, their practical abilities and their wide appreciation of what engineering is all about. <laughs>